Hey guys, Wisdom is here. Finally, we have made it to pretty much where I wanted to stop from the Pierce episode, which was um about a month. Yes, well, probably well over by now. The last one was at uh, 6 December. So yeah, it's been we are now six games into the new uh, the current season, and uh, as you can tell, we're not doing so hot. In fact, we are the last. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at what happened since the last episode. So yeah, since our, our last episode where we faced out against Nancy and Ahasio, uh, pretty much we are on a losing streak. We lost 2-1 to Choyes and the team that I still haven't learned how to pronounce yet. But let's just say we are now out of the French League Cup. Uh, the lesser they say the better. And then we lost 2-0 to Paris FC. Which I find it a bit bullshit because uh, I'll probably uh, show you the goals. Pretty much they were lucky in this game. I was pretty livid at the time. And then we got to face up against Lance at, Lance at home. And uh, yeah, we lost last minute. Yeah, more frustration. And then that's where uh, going on to the next match against Sosha away. We actually... Made a lot of tweaks to the tactic and somehow it seemed to have paid off. But unfortunately, uh, Lingani decided to just oopsie daisy boss. I need to go home early and uh, yeah, we just considered four and we basically lost the match. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I literally screamed when Lingani got sent off. So you can understand how frustrating is, or should I say the save is at the moment. Well, uh... Now, we are going to show what the tactic looks like at the moment and to think whether I should actually make any more changes. Oh, I also forgot to mention that, uh, well, the transfer window is over and we ended up not signing anyone, but there is a lifeline in the Joko transfer window which is currently happening at the moment. So far, not much dice because you know why? Because we didn't have any wage budget until, well, apart from a loan uh, move for Matthew right here because he decided to play a hissy fit with getting first team football. Uh, we finally uh, sold one of the players that was listed at the start of the game, which is Sardinio. Uh And somehow, finally, we got some suitors for him. So basically, he's going to move to the RI, um, which is uh, Chris Schumer. I think I butchered that. Hold on, let me see the pronunciation first. Okay, I just listened to how Google Translate pronounced it, so it's Kriciuma. So, kind of like what I pronounced it earlier, but it's good to have some validation. So, yeah, pretty much Sidinius uh gonna be gone in January 1st, 2019, which does allow us to now... Wait, hold on, that's the wrong... Uh, oh, no, no, that's the right one. Uh, Yeah, so pretty much we now have a lot of which budget Unfortunately, uh, yeah, as I said, it was kind of too late. He, the transfer offer came uh, to be accepted a day after the normal transfer window was closed. So pretty much, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be using this uh, thing to sign the one Joker player that we're going to have to get. Because again, as I said, the squad... It's gonna struggle as uh, bottom dwellers unless I do some tactical magician thingy and uh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the transfers. It's like, that's pathetic, isn't it? Like, what kind of manager doesn't even bother to improve? Well, pretty much like Rafa Benitez and Mike Ashley at Newcastle. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think we should really go to the tactics now and show you how we're gonna line up this. So this is the tactic that I use for the PS match against Sosha and I feel like that's the much better version of 4 2 3 one Because now we have uh, a halfback in front of the centre back so it doesn't allow people to just cut through us like butter in the midfield which is great. I kind of looked at these kind of formations before but I've never really tried to use it. It's just that uh, we don't really have a lot of defensive minded midfielders so it's a bit... Eh, I mean Mustafa is pretty much our, one of the best players in the squad despite his age so it's not a big deal. Also, um, 
yeah pretty much now we have a pressing 4 and an am because i got that inspiration from like a few 4 to 3 1 tactics that i've seen in fm scout not that i haven't i mean it's only one game so i'm not sure if this is gonna work out in the long run but yeah you gotta try something because like usually 4 to 3 1 would work best if you do have any insight for us which obviously we don't we only have wingers so another change we did was that i decided to split this new tactic into balance and cautious since most likely we are pretty much weaker than any other all the other teams sorry in league a2 uh, just like the low league management save that i'm doing on twitch streaming uh, I'll be doing like cautious for away and balance for home basically so that's why I'm sticking to this since we are playing at home later against FC Mets and uh, here are our transitional phases basically so we're going for standard defensive line low line engagement and since no one can really tackle the ball of course I be, to be fair I just don't like uh, having people to tackle so we're no longer gonna use title marking because i see that uh, we're not really have to work with to do that so i just decided to focus on tackling instead and then we go to in transition and uh yeah the goalkeeper still does distribute quickly but since we are playing our defense uh we just have to make sure because our passing is still obviously pretty bad so I'm still sticking to the shoulder passing. Uh, we now do work ball into the box, at least for the balance. I might have to check. I mean, let's just check this quickly. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes, cautious is also uh, similar. I mean, the AM position is an AP now because, you know, cautious. So I wouldn't want the AM to do as much damage. So use long reach passing instead and the left wing backs uh on support so not much changes i mean because we are unconscious i decided to add regroup to when possession has been lost so pretty much to not allow our opposition to counter quickly so pretty much uh, against very fast paced teams i'm gonna have to use this tactic and uh well this one's i'm still kind of playing around because uh again this is only league two so i'm not sure whether this is necessary I think it's fine because at least this shorter passing together with the lower tempo helps to um help to retain possession. So and dribble less as well. Even though I'm not sure that's a bit excessive because that might not allow us to create chances and I might have to rely on training as a result. So yeah, that's pretty much the so-called two versions of the same new tactic that I did. So again I have to work on it because uh it's no guarantee that it's gonna work. So that's pretty much it. So next up, we have to sh like change the lineup because uh, yeah, uh, it's been a while since I last did the thing because I only played those last few matches before this like last week. So that's how long the series took because I was so focused on the stream. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's go fast forward a bit of time and I'm uh, going to show you the lineup that we're going to go for. So we had an injury mini crisis before this so apart from the ligani suspension uh Komau got a bit of an injury after that pierce mess against Sosha. If i'm not mistaken hold on let me check because i have very bad memory uh oh no it was just a day ago okay so this, it was basically before this match all right makes sense and uh, Ryan Abit was injured for quite some time. I mean, like, I think literally after the sec uh, the previous episode, he got injured. And uh, he's still not back. So we still have to rely on Sokona. So that's a shame, really. That just shows, as I, as I mentioned, there's just not a lot of options, really. But anyway, I think we pretty much all set. I mean, Sedinho's out of it, so I can't use him. So, yeah, let's on to the match right now okay so we're finally kicking off with uh the lineup that we did earlier on and uh, i just realized something really interesting uh endo one was one of the players that I actually signed uh doing my fn sentence save we have seen match so it's just funny funny that in real life he has actually signed on loan from as monaco so pretty interesting so good to see the manager had a few similar ideas doing like compared to my save that time so quite interesting 
But uh, yeah, let's get this underway. So since they are playing uh, 4 1 2 3, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, that should be it. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use something a bit different here because uh, I've learned this and I've used this in my stream save. So basically, there'll be some sort of uh, flank funneling. This is from my article I read like a few weeks ago. So we're gonna do this. Uh, since apparently he has the most assists, so we're gonna have to show on foot. And then we will close down the right winger. So pretty much like if the right hand side is more dangerous, we mark him out. And the opposite guy is slightly less dangerous, we do this one. So yeah, that's it's like vice versa. And then if uh they use the uh, wing backs, then we like follow suit for the left hand side as well. So we do this. And uh, on certain cases, maybe 442 or 404, maybe I would like close down on like the appropriate midfield position as well. So that could happen as well. But I think since it's this kind of formation, I think I'll just tackle hard on all of them. Yes, I don't care how bad tackling is, but. Uh, it's definitely better than the one at the stream save, which is obviously lower league. Definitely lower league level. I mean, it's not as good as Ligue 2, definitely. So, yeah, uh, I might do a bit of weaker foot, weaker foot here, sorry, because, uh, yeah, the rating's a bit high, so I'm gonna close him down as well. And uh, I think for the striker, uh, I mean, I didn't really pay attention to the scout report, my bad. Uh, I think we just do this for the striker as the only other guy that we usually mark out in these cases. Uh, I don't think they'll be using the white bag a lot, so we're gonna ignore that for now. And uh, let's get it on then. Okay, let's get this one out. I don't know why is that there, but okay. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, we are cautious. Uh, that's the wrong one. Oh, I did use the wrong one. Okay, not to worry. It's pretty much the same. So we can just like change to that. No biggie. Wouldn't affect the cohesion so much. Because I did train specifically on the balance tactics. So it should be fine. And Grete now? Oh, that guy's just driving. Olaya to the lane. Oh, how has he gotten the ball? There we go. Oh my days, Cabanyon. What is that? I'm going now with the ball, and that's the first chance. So, we are having a lot of possession. I mean, we are extending the highlights, but so far, it's not really going so well at the moment. Okay, that's another highlight. We got a free kick, and CDB hits the post. Ah, that's so frustrating. Get that get creative thing underway. Can we get a better one? Nope. Uh, yeah, that highlight ends. Okay. Um... Not really that well. And I just realized uh, Gabanyon's on 80%. So I shouldn't have... I should have left Daikota in. Yeah, my bad. But I just thought Gabanyon, since I've used him a lot more, uh, I just decided to like use him for the time being. I guess it's a bit too soon. But I think it should be fine. If anything, I can just replace him. I oh, mean, they're really using the wings a lot. And it's deflected in 1-0. <laughs> well, that's not good, is it? I mean, this is... Pretty much a men's match against two so-called bottom teams and we can't even win against this. I think we blood is good. Uh, it's a strong shot from Angban there and that's one near to FC Mets. I feel like I, I've used the one because he seems to be cutting in a whole lot more than the left hand side at the moment. So I think we might have to switch things up a bit sooner or later. Ulaya now. Oh my god. Maybe because we're not using title marking as uh, Myla has to do another save there. <laughs> It's not ideal, is it? Clear it now. Polaya gets the ball. We just can't get the ball at the moment. Mustafa now. Oh my god. Yeah, I probably need to change a few things. Because uh, we barely created any chances at the moment. And it's really costing us. We might have to go a lower tempo or something. Or, you know, pretty much go cautious. Because we just can't create anything at the moment. So, uh, let's switch to the cautious one right now. And uh, we're not going to regroup though since we are playing at home. Because we, we're not getting countered per se. They just really use the ball really well. So I think yeah, we're just going to change this for now. And uh, see what happens. If you look at the analysis. Uh, 
we somehow are playing high up the FC mess, which is a bit funny. We are playing a, uh, the battle defense a lot, which is what the tactic, the pierce. So, so I say the balance tactic was doing. So that's all right. But uh, yeah, we really need to work on our tactical things. All right. Okay, I'm going to switch the opposition obviously as well. So we're going to mark him out instead. Uh, weaker foot, obviously. And then we will switch this to the left hand side. This to the right. So we're going to tack start tackling hard on the right back as well. And we should get going. I think I most likely have to take out Gambanyan really soon. He's just not fit at the moment. Well, Heisen now the ball to Kohadi. Kohad? Something? Sunzu? If we start countering, maybe that's it, is it? Just can't get any other ball right now. And it. Oh wow, that is so lucky. But luckily we got the ball. That's a poor pass. It's like. I might need to go mix or something, or at least stand the passing. And just like that, so it's 69, uh, 69 minutes. So let's do a few substitutions. Just really, really bad. Strike, striking wise, we're just not there. Just gonna put in Butuba as well. I kind of forgotten that he was available again, but eh. Well, I don't think it makes much of a difference if we can't do anything right now. Yeah, we're gonna go on standard now because it just seems to me that we can't do anything with the uh, with the possession that we are enjoying at the moment. So yeah, we're just gonna do this right now. Let's give it a go. If we're gonna lose one year, it's gonna be really disappointing because we just can't create any chances at the moment, and it's really really frustrating, in my opinion. I should have paid more attention to the time as well because usually I do subs in the 60th minute and uh, yeah, I was just talking my ass out and that's why we missed. I'm gonna mess it up there. That's a free kick gone way wide. All right. So more direct, mix crossing. Gonna try something different. Just to uh ruin their stuff a bit. For kill now with the corner and Daikoda has equalized. Oh the changes actually worked. I mean it's very hard to say because there was nothing happening um before this this highlight, so very hard to say, but safe to say the set pieces are kinda of working out, even though again I've not really touched on it since the last episode, so my bad. But it seems to be that FC Mets will get F10 here and uh, yeah, we're most likely gonna get a point, which is nice. Oh, but it's far from over yet though because I've yet to get any opposition chances. And they're getting lucky with the ball so far. And the line is true. That was close. Butuba is now cleared and Asisoko, can he hold the ball? Skona's there, can he shoot? And it's so... Why? Why do you even bother that? But then now, Sukuna, he has another round of the ball. How was that a good challenge? Damn it, Sukuna. So bad. I mean, the uh, Ryan Abit is much better than him. This just shows how bad our score is. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I think that should be it. I mean... Not much. It's like even though extended, there's not much happening and oh, there's like a last minute free kick. Could we snatch a winner? At Atasi now? <laughs> okay, weird. I, I think I should really check on my set pieces. Atasi now. Can he cross? Maybe? Oh, that was so close. That could have been a winner right there. But yeah, I'll take it. One point. We needed that. After that losing streak. So yeah, that's 1-1. One, one. Uh, you done brilliantly. I like it. So you can. It's safe to say that uh, our tactics still needs a bit of work, but that's one point. So that's now two for us. But we are still did last because of uh goal difference. So uh, I mean, couldn't the press officer be a little bit more positive? I mean, at least it's a point, not just no points again, huh? But anyway, uh, I'll be right back with our next match. So, see you soon.
right we get pass in game and uh yeah there was uh pretty much no different the uh, no one good is able to sign for us let alone like there's no improvements that i can make to what they have and uh, it seems to me that my system man just gone berserk because now apparently it's recommending me that i'll play ibrahim sissoko as the main striker instead of Antoine Rabiliad even though he's pretty much our top scorer and he's gonna keep improving but eh, at this point I'm willing to try anything so I'm just gonna deal with that uh, apart from that uh, yes as expected Ryan Abid and uh, Homaru are reinstated back into the lineup because I feel like they are the better players since we killed it pretty badly I mean to be fair it's probably due to his uh, his ppms where he comes deep to get ball it kind of clashes that uh with how we want to play so that's why i decided to play Ellis or this match although to be fair in the league cup match against shuttle Wu, like the opponents for today uh he wasn't any better so i'm just gonna switch until something happens so yeah as i said that's how bad our death is really uh but two bus backs well and uh yeah apart from that uh, the lineup's pretty much unchanged apart from that, yep. So, um, for our transitional phases, um, not much change. I just took out Workboy into the box since we are playing away anyway. Um, this is no change and yeah, pretty much no change apart from that. Because since, uh, according to the scout reports, uh, Shuttle likes to play attacking and they do score a lot in the first to 15 minutes so gonna have to be wary of that but i might try to keep balance in the second half but apart from that i'm just gonna stick it to cautious for the time being I mean, something bad happens obviously like getting a man sent off uh whatever you know so anyway i think we should just go on to the next match right now right so as i kind of expected from the scout report uh shuttle are playing a 4-4 and which is kind of uh, good for us in a way because uh, usually formations like 5 to 1 to 4 to 3 1 basically formations where the midfield would naturally overrun uh, a 4 to 4 formation uh, that could mean good for us we might not get as threatened but it depends on the quality as well tactics is one thing quality is another and if shuttle will decides to like you know be clinical in their attacks since they are more likely to go attacking as according to the scout report yeah we're gonna be in a heap low of trouble anyway uh yeah let's just get this over with that should be it for the opposition instructions and let's get this uh, team talk out of the way i like how there's already an option to uh oh uh you know take revenge because we did play them in the french league cup earlier on so yes so this is pretty much our second live commentary against shuttle Wu away so let's see what you can do and it seems to be that we've already lost the ball that's that's great yeah i like to see that and bone now that's a very funny name to sean tien and now madani has whoa that is a strong save for maya there and they had to because uh yeah they are looking good now bukari gets his shot block and it's only as far as yamga and uh, ngoi to shonde and yeah they as I said, they definitely look to attack from the get-go. So we got to be really wary. I'll be on short of passing. I don't know how this is going to work. We're not going to do that. Yeah, I don't know why I have that. This should be out when it's away. Okay, let's try this. Seems now Ryan a bit scanning yellow. That's funny. Uh, free kick resulting it and Yamga has scored. Wow, just like that. They scored. Yet another set piece goal. It seems to me like in this FM, like the authentics don't matter if your set pieces are bad. And uh, I'm not sure how is that not outside, but it seems no one's marking him. So, yeah, that's fantastic. Um, so that's that's a gonna be a defeat if you don't do anything about it. It looks really dangerous, and Marila has to make another save. Oh man, this is not going well, is it? Jeez. Plus he clears well. Only as far as Lever lands. Kotoba. Oh my days. What was that? It was so bad. 
talked again. Only as far as leave on land. Again. My goodness. How long is this highlight gonna get? And Yang got scores again. How is our defense so bad? It's like we are getting outclassed and we're not getting our tactic whatsoever. Yeah, th this is just bullshit at this point. Like, there's so many blocks. And, uh, yeah, this is not ideal at the moment, guys. Jeez. Jeez, it seems Yanga's more dangerous right now. So, I'm gonna demand more. Switch this. I don't know what to do at this point. This, yeah, I should have marked key mounts instead. Because it's really dangerous. My bad, because he's only on two goals now. And it seems nothing much is happening. Because we are so bad at this. I, like, I don't know what to do, really. Like, I think uh, what I can do, though, is put this on support. And uh, push Puto, no, not Puto, but YN forward a bit. Of course, really bad. At the Cleared again. They're having 10 shots. They're actually dominating us. And how did YN a bit did not score that? Jeez, that's our, that's our best chance at the moment. Well, it's only one chance, so. <laughs> My days. Great tackle from Butuba there. At the moment. But now, Ryan now bit. Can he do anything? He skips one defender, two defenders. And Sissoko could only just hit it towards the uh, goalkeeper. Frustrating. And that wasn't even a clear cut chance. So, 2 0. Uh, looks like gonna be another defeat unless we do something. And be a bit passionate. That doesn't seem very good. I'm gonna like push them high a bit. Because we're just letting them come to us right now. Let's do this. I'm gonna try a different passing mechanic as well. We're gonna leave it uh, cautious for the time being until the uh, 60th minute. Apart from that, uh, no other changes. Hopefully, we can do a bit better. Seems to me like the halfback thing doesn't work at all either. And already they already put one shot off. Get the ball somehow. And that's some bullshit. More bullshit. Oh, it's offside. Okay. Right. Uh, hold on. I don't think it's passing forward thing. Uh, come on. Let's just play AF. Fuck's sake. Like, like, just do it. I don't know what. Oh, at this point. Ah. Uh, I mean. I should play Mazala. It's like. I don't even want to use halfback. Yeah, we really do need a whole lot more changes. Because it's. It's just bad. Everything's bad. Seems nothing's happening. Which is great. That shows how bad we are at the moment. Oh my gosh, man. Like. I think we just need to go standard at this point. Tuba's having another nightmare of a game. Yeah, as I said, we just don't have as much quality as we should. It's just bad all around. Yeah, they haven't even made any other substitute. Just just shows how comfortable it is right now. It is really that bad. Give an eye the free kick and it's never gonna be anywhere inside. Younger now. He's true. Could he score his hat trick? Oh my days. Yeah, I think we just get totally out class. We can't do anything about this. Even countering is like... We, we can't even do that. Uh, maybe you need to play offside chat or something. Because... Uh, yeah, it's just bad. This is just really bad. Big away was a free kick. Uh, this is this is probably going to be the highlight of the season, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it's back to the drawing board, guys. This is not working either right now. Really bad. Yeah, maybe I need to like peruse the uh, team report a bit more and uh, really, pretty much just reinvest in the safe a bit more since I'm not really gonna touch the screen safe for the time being. We get a, at least a goal somehow. Like, oh, and Yang got true. Is he true again? Nope. Probably yet now. Uh, I think we might have to stick to the basics and just play a 4 4 2 or something. Because I think like playing 4 to 3 one doesn't work if we don't have an inside forward at all. Or well, you know, we just been totally outclassed. It's either of those two. And I have like no idea. So that's it. Uh 3-0. That's really really bad. Uh 
I, ca I can't make the mower any lower than it should be, so I'm just gonna like stick to that. So yeah, we still did last after that game. Just don't have the quality right now. And we are hemorrhaging, 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 whatever. I don't really care. Our finances are gonna be in the weed. We're not gonna get any good transfers. It's just most likely gonna be the most difficult save that I'm gonna be doing. But yeah. Uh so let's have a look at the fixtures and see where we're gonna like start. I think it might be pretty close uh to the January transfer window. So I think FC oh Vus, I'm not gonna say like the you know precise pronunciation. So this uh will be our next match followed by Orleans. Um not not New Orleans, Orleans, you know. It's gonna be a little bit French in my pronunciation there. Unless I get it wrong as well, because that's the story of the save so far, or should I say the series. But yeah, that'll be the next two live commentaries. I think straight after that next episode, we're probably gonna do a transfer special. If we could even get any signings and uh, yeah, see how this save goes after that. So yeah, that's like a rough plan at the moment. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's like I just realized there's a French card in between these matches, but I'm not really gonna care because yeah, I just, you wouldn't want to see me just keep losing. It's like I have to figure out my bearings first. So it's gonna be in December. Then that's where the next episode episode's gonna be. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, do like it. Uh, if you got any like comments, please do because this is my first series and yeah, still getting used to this kind of uh, YouTube thing. So let me know in the comments for any feedback. Uh, yes, so see you in the next episode, which I don't know when it's coming up because unlike other streamer, uh, I mean other YouTubers, I'm very irregular. Just like my streaming stuff. So, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.